previously on The Dead Linger. And now, today's episode. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of The Dead Link. Yeah. As you can tell, I uh, have attracted the natives. They're entirely unhappy to see me. I don't understand why. Most of the time, people love me. Hmm. Oh well. Well, this episode, as you saw from my nice little intro I kind of tried out here, I have traveled a long, long ways. I don't know if you guys can see too clearly the coordinates in the corner. Well, if you know how those work, they do not go up like Minecraft with every step you take. It takes a long time to adjust those coordinates. So, if you do know how they work, you can tell by those that I am a very fucking long ways from where the last episode took place. So, uh, I ran out here to find something interesting. Obviously, I don't really know what I was expecting. I'm a little confused because this house is like, the last two houses I've come through in this area were like pre-barricaded. And also appears like some of the doors have, actually it might look like all the doors in this area have two doors to them instead of one. So uh, that's a pretty glaring glitch with the... Well, what I was trying to say before I was so rudely disconnected is it looks like most, if not all, of these houses in the area have a double set of windows and a double set of doors. And whatever is causing that is also causing the game to become incredibly unstable. Um, shortly after I open a double set of doors, uh, the game tends to crash. So. I don't know why it's only affecting this area. Uh, as you've seen in previous videos, it's it's not a universal thing. So I'm wondering if something got screwed up with the procedural generation that's causing this area to be different from the rest. Uh, it also does seem like the zombie count almost has reverted back to the, uh, the old numbers, because there are a lot of zombies in the immediate vicinity of, you know, where all these glitches are turning up. So it's it's a little odd. I don't know if I'm going to really get a good gameplay video because of it. I may have to just completely leave this area. So my apologies if I start and stop at weird places, but this seems like it's a big problem. I mean... Yeah, I, I've, I've never seen this before. 
Let me know if you have. But see, there's one window broken, and there's the second window broken. It's it's damn odd, really. I mean, you open one front door, you open the next front door. This zombie just doesn't want to die. Yep, see again. One door, two door. And it's just weird that this is a problem here, but not in the rest of the game world that I've explored so far. So, yeah, I'd be really interested to know if anybody else has run across this issue. I'll definitely be posting this video on the Deadlinger forums. I'll search up and see if anybody else has found this, but man, this, you know, this is one of the bigger glitches I think I've found in the game so far, at least since the earlier builds. If any of you have seen that other video I've got up there with the procedural fail, where houses were spawning in the middle of streets, and... I don't know, I think you can still snipe people with a shotgun. If you've seen that video, that's pretty funny. But, uh... Yeah, th it's just odd, like I keep saying, that I've never run across this before. So... You know, who knows? God, that's a fucking lot of zombies. They're just all over the place. I run for two hours to get over here, and I get over here, and it's definitely not what I expected. I was hoping to have a good, you know, decent gameplay video, but... seems like the game is just fighting against me to do that. But, Alpha, you cannot blame anything on the game as it is right now. If they were saying this was a finished product, obviously, there would be complaints, but... Oh well. One thing that they do obviously need to work on is where roads spawn, because... <laughs> Yeah, anything that's on a slight slant just does not generate properly. But, you know, since all signs are pointing to the Unity engine being what they're switching to with not, you know, if, if they switch to it at Big Patch 10 or Big Patch 11, you know, either way, I'm sure that will... I'm sure with the first patch, it's going to completely break the game. I'm sure it's going to utterly destroy everything but with the next patch after that which I'm sure is gonna come very quickly it's gonna fix a lot of the issues I can't see this being a smooth transition from what they've got now to unity if that is in fact what they are going to but that's just my opinion I don't know how programming and coding works as well as they do I mean for all we know, they've been working on this for several months and they've got everything, you know, just ready to go. We can only hope. That would be awesome for just a nice fluid transition. One thing, however, I would like to address is there seems to be a, a debate on the forums about major YouTubers playing this game. And honestly, I don't I don't have an issue with it. I do this for fun, not because I'm expecting to hit it big and do this for a living. It'd be nice, but it's never going to happen. But I can see where everybody else is coming from, the people who are trying to make this, you know, into something. I can see how having somebody big like, you know, Total Biscuit on here playing the Dead Linger, you know, he'd never do it, but if someone like him did do it, someone who gets hundreds of thousands of hits per video, I can really see how that would turn other people off from playing the game. And, you know, if he did do it, it wouldn't be his fault. If it was interesting to him, go for it. But I can see how other people would be mad about it. I just don't find it to be an issue. Another thing people seem to be complaining about are the sound effects for guns. You know... Take it for what it's worth, but... Excuse me. I just... It's alpha, guys. They know they know what needs to be done. They, you know, they definitely know 
what is wrong with the game right now and what needs to be fixed. The, they've said time and time again that most of the sound effects in the game are, are placeholder sounds, you know? They're not meant to be there when the game is, you know, finally released. It's just... You know, it's a temporary thing, so there's no reason to hassle them and make multiple forum posts about sound effects and, you know, how the game looks and all this stuff. It's okay. <laughs> you know, it'll be it'll be changed, so don't worry about it. But goddamn, look at this. I mean, seriously. That this whole area has to be glitched. Look at the amount of zombies. I mean, to me that's insane. Unless unless I'm wrong, which I might be, and this is just the normal spawning system. That seems like way more than what the spawning system should allow for this small area. <laughs> you know, this is like this is like a big city amount of zombies <laughs> as it stands right here. But you know, whatever. I've got a following. If only I had this many people that watch the YouTube videos every week. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't think I'm going to get very much done in this video. Just because I don't want to be crashing back and forth. I got lucky with the last door I opened. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to try and make it out of this area into the next housing. Looks like there's a shop up ahead. Hopefully we'll get to that and find something good. But yeah. This, this video is going to be short. Because this area is completely bugged. But it happens. Life goes on. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully this video has <laughs> opened your eyes a little bit. I know it's opened mine. <laughs> but uh, see you guys next time. Good night, good evening, good morning, afternoon, wherever you are. See you next time. This has been Skitterin with episode, geez, I think it's 14 now, of The Dead Linger, Alpha Build 009C, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Hey guys, what's wrong? Where's everybody going? Well, you guys don't look too happy. Huh. Well. Uh-oh. It appears like I have angered the horde. Multiple windows breaking. I can only expect the door to go any second now. Wow, you can just hear them. I think they're angry about something. Whoa. Ah! Save me, crazy two-door house! Save me! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this will be my last stand. I can only hope that you don't run into the same size horde that I have. Because it's scary. I'm ready though. I'm ready. We'll see how many I can take out before I die. Probably not many at all. There we go! Oh. They just keep coming! They're falling into the windows! No! Ah. 